lot of people might not want to have their friends or people in their home for whatever reason. And I, or, oh, I don't do parties anymore. But one thing I said is, are you involved with any organiza in an organization that could use some money for something? And usually the answer is yes, or, you know, well, my daughters, whatever. And once you get them thinking, they usually can think of a group. And fundraisers are something that in the past I've only done whenever I, I was kind of desperate and I needed something for my month, you know. Um, I would really seek them out and try to get something, but now I'm trying to be a little more proactive with them. Um, just to give you some examples of fundraisers that you can, that you can places you can reach out for fundraisers. Um, the reason I did them only when I had um, a kind of a, a rough month or a rough time is because it was like, oh, I can, you know, I can go out and get them. If you drive through your town, look at, you know, there's a fire company doing a chicken barbecue. They need money for something. There's um, kids on the street corner doing a, a car wash in the bank parking lot. What are they doing the car wash for? They need money. There is a bake sale at a local church. What are they raising money for? Like everywhere you go, there's people doing events and, and yard sales to raise money for things. And you know what I've done is I usually go up and say, oh, what are you guys raising money for? Who's in charge of you know your fundraising? And then I'll you know I'll go and talk with them and get their contact information, and ask them if they'd like to send them some information. And you know, like anything, I've given out a lot of information, got a lot of contact information back, and and a lot of them they never choose to do it. They don't get back to you. Um, but like anything else, there are some that do, and then those are golden opportunities. To give you some examples of ones that I've done in the past, I've done them for animal rescues, animal shelters. One February, I had a lot of cancellations, and I um, had talked. I had been talking with an animal shelter and an animal rescue. Um, I met them at like some pets home for the holidays thing right before Christmas, and we ended up doing it Valentine's weekend, like love for the animals, that kind of thing. And they were both very successful. And like the virtual parties or the freezer meal workshops, they're gonna get you in front of people that you normally wouldn't get in front of. I know a lot of my consultants say that's the thing they struggle with the most. They go out of business because they never get out of their little circles of their friends and family. And so whenever they're struggling for parties, I encourage them to think about fundraisers because they're gonna get in front of a new